Hey guys, this is Debbie from One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Hey guys, this is my daughter, mm -hmm. Mary Lee. Yeah, that's my name. Yes, I know that's your name. <laughs> I just want others to know okay. that's your okay. name. <laughs> so, Marilyn is here today and um, what we're going to do is to cook Achoo. 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 Not like sneezing at you. No, it's like... not like mm -hmm. It's achoo. Mm -hmm. And this food that we're going to prepare today is from the um from Bamenda. Bamenda. Mm -hmm. Northwest province of Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Yes. So with the achu that we're cooking today, mm -hmm. Marilyn, I will show you what we have. This here is the achu ingredient. Is you... that the, the main ingredient? Or... Yes, really, that's the main ingredient. Mm -hmm. You get this from the African food store? African food store, okay. the Asian uh, grocery store, okay. also okay. food store that carries African products. Mm -hmm. So this is a chew that we're going to, um, the a chew ingredient that we're going to use. And this here is the limestone. This is what will make this palm oil. The mixture is going to look yellowish. Yummy. It's going to be yummy. Oh mm. yes. I have two types of pepper here. I have the green pepper. I don't know how, what this is called. It is like green. Chili. You got it. <laughs> yes, it is green chili pepper. Okay. Then what is this? It's habanero pepper. Yes. I feel like I'm in third yeah. grade. Okay. No, no, that's fine. That's mm -hmm. fine. The reason I'm, I'm using this mm -hmm. is the, the taste is different. You you get different that, types of spicy. Yes. Okay. And the aroma from this because it's still green. Mm -hmm. It gives you I don't even know how to explain it, but it gives the best aroma. If you want the best at your soup, always use the green pepper. Mm -hmm. This one here, we're gonna use this after we cook everything, just put it there. So in case someone wants to eat they need mm -hmm. more pepper, mm -hmm. then you know, they use this. Wait, so you'll just put it as is, you're not gonna blend it? No, I won't blend this, but oh. this green chili pepper, we're oh. going to blend this. And here, I have um, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Always good to put mushrooms. And not even just for a chew, mushroom is really good health wise. I know some people don't use ginger, but for some reason, I always make sure I have ginger, whatever I'm cooking. That's just me. And mm -hmm. this, my mom calls this jakatu. Or garden egg. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where did you find garden egg? Um, in Nigeria. How did you find it? Um, mommy Peshe. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mami Peshe. That's my aunt. She passed my away. Yes, yeah, she passed away a few months ago. And we have the Maggi. Maggi cube. Mm, signature. Every yes. African dish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I will put tomatoes mm, like on this. Mind. Yes. Oh, another thing, we have the palm oil. So we have our palm oil, we have our limestone, we have the achoo ingredient, then we have the cocoa yams. Mm. Yes. Cocoa yams. This, this is it. This is it. This is what we're going to do. All the spices that we have here are going to go with the achoo soup. But guess what guys? Two days ago, I prepared this meat. This is the meat that we're going to use for the achoo soup. Oh, so this is the broth? Yes, from that's the, the broth okay. from the meats. Okay. So in this, the meat here, we have um, chicken hen, we have cow food, mm. we have goat meat, mm. we have smoked turkey. Tau? Um, yes. What's the English version of How do you is say Is it tau? beef stripe? Stri stripe. Strife. 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 Beef strife. Strife. <laughs> okay. Yes. So we have that. So so what I did, I pre I cooked this. It's it's well seasoned. So you have a little bit of salt, a little bit of um, red pepper, mm -hmm. um, some maggi as usual, some onions. Once everything get well, mm -hmm. you know, cooked, I took, I removed it, kept it in the refrigerator. How long did it take for you to? It took me oh, almost an hour, slow cook, slow cook. Did you use like a slow cooker or you use the pot? No, I use the regular use pot. School. Yes. Oh, I know. Or you can use a slow cooker. Oh, yeah. For anyone who has a slow cooker. Yeah. For millennials. Yes. <laughs> they will use slow cooker. I will use, I will take an hour to cook it. Mm -hmm. And so this is the broth mm -hmm. that came out of this. So forget about this. This is not ice cream. So 
these are the things that we have to make things real easy and short the fashion way we're in america we're not back home i will mix this together with my spices the i will blend it in this blender oh. Yes, this blender is very powerful. So when we when we are ready mm -hmm. to make the actual soup, yeah. I will show you guys how we mix everything from this palm nut oil. The sauce is gonna look yellowish. Mm. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, oh, so wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, uh -huh. I'll give you the backstory. Yeah. So there's a story about this. Mm. This young lady I love Achu. It's my favorite. Yes. Do I know how to make it? No. No, she doesn't no. know. <laughs> you know what happened when I was pregnant with you? Mm -hmm. The only thing I could eat mm. was achu. Wow. And guess what? Yeah. I didn't know how to cook achu. Oh wow. Yes, in Cameroon, I didn't I didn't care because it was so easy to pay someone to prepare it mm, for you. So you you order carry out. Yes. Take out. Yes. Like I do. Well you you no, but, uh, well you do take out. I did not. It wasn't a takeout because what I did, I paid this lady, listen, mm -hmm. three thousand mm. dollars. Um, three thousand francs <laughs> CFA. I don't know how much that's equivalent to um American okay. dollars. So she made it for you. So she made it mm -hmm. for me, she brought it in a big bowl. So mm -hmm. I had to eat it for almost a week. This wow. was the only food I could eat and it stayed in my stomach. When this young lady um, was in here because I was a difficult pregnant. Oh yes, yeah, she and she, I'm still a difficult. Oh child. yes, mm -hmm. oh yes. So we are going to cook this at you, and mm -hmm. she got all these measuring spoons. I do. Yes. Again, it's the millennial way. We measure we, things. I do not measure. Yeah? Okay. But guess what? But this we're going to measure yeah. because she's going to use her measuring yeah. to make sure um, the amount of oil is enough. The pepper. Because I want to learn how to make it what, when this is done. Yes, that's true. You know. yeah. All right, so. So let's get this going. You ready, man? I'm ready. So this is what we're going to do. We have the cocoa yams in here. What is it called again? Daro or Kalo in Hawaiian, but this is cocoa yams. We have the cocoa yams. So what myself and Marilyn are going to do, we're going to make sure we wash the cocoa yams. What she got in her hands, it, it looks like this. So we're cutting the, the, the edge that doesn't look good. Ouch. We're taking this out. See, see, Marilyn. Yes. So, what do you want to do? You want to clear aggressive with that one. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, is this so, good to go? Yes. So, you so want to rinse it, it. Rinse it. Make sure it's okay. clean. And the reason, the reason you want to always wash your cocoa before you boil it is because when you put it in the pot with the hot water, you want to make sure that as it's boiling, the water that makes the, the steam that makes this cook. The skin of the cocoa yams is already clean. You see like what she's doing? She's using a brush. Sometimes I use iron sponge to wash the skin of the cocoa yams. Okay, so what if it looks good? No, that one is good. So oh, like this one's good? Yes, oh, like this part. here, no, forget about that. That one <laughs> no the reason the reason we're cutting this, you see oh, here. Okay, got it. it looks it looks um, like so I just washed this. Then. Yeah, so you just have to wash that. Right, I'm just gonna wash the brush. It looks dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> this kids today. <laughs> this is gonna be a, a rough day in this kitchen. <laughs> but the but final result is the achu. Yes. And we're going to show you guys how we eat achu. All right. So, okay. Good. You're doing a good job. Thank you so much. It's a lot yeah. of work. I'm you hear, sweating. You hear that? It's a lot of work. It's it's easy. It's easy. How do you know a good selection? Some, in the store, or do you just get whatever and then cut off the key? What I do sometimes, I use my keys, Your my key. car key. I use it sometimes and punch the, the cocoa yams and, and do like this, just to see the inside. You see that? Let me tell you guys a funny story. My first time coming to the US, I didn't know they had all this food here. I put plantains in my suitcase. <laughs> Your no, plantains. Plantain, yeah. Yes. I, I came with, with green plantains <laughs> thinking <laughs> I'm go going to America. They don't have this type of things here, this type of food in America. And I was shocked when I went to a grocery store 
a week after yeah. I arrived. Yeah, I went to a grocery store in Detroit. I saw plantains, coconuts, cassava, mm -hmm. and I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. We got, we have the water here. This is gonna cook for at least 35 minutes. 35 minutes. And so when it's cooking, what is it doing? Is it getting soft? Is it, how do you know it's done cooking? Um, so the way I know it's done cooking, I, sometimes I use a fork and just pierce it into the okay. coconut. Once it gets through it, I know it's right. Oh, so it's soft. It's soft. Gotcha, gotcha, yes. Gotcha. All right. So we are going to put this on the stove now. So I'll take a fork and I'll pierce it inside to make sure it's soft. now will be the uh, ingredients that will go to the sauce the sauce that we're going to use to make the actual soup Marilyn has ginger with her she's gonna peel the ginger I'm sorry I know others will say oh yeah she's putting ginger into actual I put ginger I put garlic I'm just someone that I cannot cook anything I'm sorry without this ingredient so while Marilyn's peeling the ginger I have <laughs> yeah right. Come on, peel it quickly. Okay. This young pekinia. <laughs> so I'm putting the ginger in. I mean that's my garlic. Hey, she's putting garlic into a chew soup. Oh yes. It's healthy. To finish there, then she's gonna peel, take out the stem of the um, green chili peppers. How long does it take to make at you? Normally, it's, uh, I can say, I don't want to say two hours. It's probably four I hours. Think, no, two hours. And this is going to be the easiest because we've already pre boiled the meat. I pre boiled the meat, um, when was that? Two days ago. And, and it took I just. You how long to pre boil the meat? It, it took me 45 minutes. I just took my time, slow cooked it. I didn't use a slow cooker. But yeah. it's okay to use a slow cooker. Yeah. You gotta use a slow cooker. Yeah, if you want to. I am the old fashioned. It's okay, I'm new fashion. Yeah, new fashion. We got here the ginger, the garlic, the um, green chili pepper, the maggi, and Some red half, onions. Yes, red onions. Red onions. That's it. Why? Okay, what's the difference? Like, if I had sweet onions, would it change the taste? Or, like, it has to be red onions? Why? It, it depends. Some people use the, the sweet onions, which is the white one. I grew up using the red onions because that's all my mom would use at home. Okay. And it has a, a different flavor. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm going to put, you want to measure since you're measuring? Mm -hmm. Of course yeah. I want to measure. All right. So she I has a measuring. So you want to put a cup of water here. One cup of water? Yes. Louder, so one here. cup of water. All right. We're gonna delicately pour oh it inside of there. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So she got it. Okay, so you wanna pour the ingredient that's the blender, the blended one? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to we want to put oil first or not? Just no, there's first. no oil. All right, so we're gonna pour this. Ooh, look at this. Oh, so yummy. All right, we're gonna top it. Make sure everything is in there. It's out. Yeah, you got the right. All right. Good. Oh, all right. It smells good. Yeah, you could taste it also. Really, it's, it's hot. Woo! Hmm. Okay. All right. Are we gonna put this so, in here? So now we got the fresh tomatoes. Okay. So I'm going to put the tomatoes in there. Taste it 
So we want to add, so you said you had seven cups? Yeah. Here, here you go. So yeah. add some more. Okay, where are we adding more water? Because we need to get more sauce. Got it. So that's eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, one more. Yeah, let it just be 12 cups. All right, because you didn't really in there. feel that cup good. No, I didn't All do right. it right, you guys. So, <laughs> so what is happening now? Um, this will boil the tomatoes to cook while this is boiling. Gotcha. Then once it's a boil, let's say, let's give it at least 15 minutes. Okay. Then now we're going to get our mushrooms that we've already cleaned. Yeah. We'll put the mushroom there. So you'll know this is ready when it boils. Yes. Okay. When it boils, it's ready. Later on, we'll take this meat that we pre-boil. We're just gonna put it there. And um, and when it's ready, when it's time for us to blend the acho soup, you guys will see the color. Everything is gonna change. Okay. So that's it. Cool. The, the, the reason we're not putting this now, yeah. because this is already cooked. You gotcha. don't want your meat to be very mushy, very, very soft. So now we just need this water to boil, come to a boil. All right, so now I'm gonna take out my spoon and cover the pot so it can come to a full boil. So I'm gonna check. So we have this mushrooms, it's clean, um, took care of it real good, take out the dirt, wash it, cut it. So now that your sauce is, the, the liquid is boiling, you want to put this into the pot. That's fine. I, I put like it when, yeah, I like when okay. there's a lot of mushrooms. What's the like, eight cups? So, I think this is like eight cups of mushrooms. Yes, eight cups. It's important <laughs> to know. Eight cups of mushrooms. You want to put the mushroom really depending on how, what you want. If you're someone who likes a lot of mushroom, then you want to put a lot, eight cups, um, six cups. Um, so you see, even though it showed that it was a lot, after like 10 minutes, it's going to get to late. Look, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so what we have in this liquid is everything that you blended, mm -hmm. the, the broth from the meat that we cooked, mm -hmm. and once it's cooked for like 10 minutes, we're yeah. going to use this liquid yeah. and the achu ingredient mm -hmm. and the limestone with the palm oil. Mm -hmm. We'll blend it and everything is going to be yellow. Oh, there was something I forgot to show you guys. This here, you look at it, it shows Superman. This is a water bottle from Cameron. But what is in here is a chew ingredient. Okay, a chew ingredient. So my my sister in Cameron made this for me um, last time I was in Cameron. The limestone, this is it. We call it a camera. This palm oil looking red. Later on, it's gonna be yellow, yellow soap. Okay. And this is the pack. If you go to the store, you're looking for lime, limestone. So what I'm doing now is washing the garden eggs or the jackfruit. Um, as I'm washing it, I'm going to flick or pluck off the stems, like so, like that. So now you're going to put your garden egg into this boiling. The garden egg, you're not going to blend it. Uh, most people like to, to eat the garden egg separately. So once you make, you put your achu and on the plates, if you put that garden egg at the corner, there's some people who choose to use that garden egg to enjoy the achu. Mm -hmm. So I'm just doing this to show that um, you can use that also okay. when eating. Now I'm going to lift up the lid for the yams. I'm going to take this fork and poke in. Ooh, it went all the way in. So how long do you think I should keep this in for? Let's say five more minutes. Okay. Ooh, that 
looks really good. I see like a little yellow. I'm going to gently stir this. Ooh, this looks good. It's a little challenge to escape the uh, the tomatoes, but we just gonna do it. Should I um, also take the garden egg or keep the garden yes, egg? Yes, take all the garden. All right. This looks so good. I've seen people making a chill soup uh -huh. without, um, just with clay water from the top. Oh, really? But I like mine. I like well, that won't be flavorful, would it? Yeah, I like mine to be flavorful. Yeah. This is why I don't eat no one else's at you. The habanero peppers and removing little stems from it, like so, like that. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this. I'm going to put it in this now tomato based broth, like that. Back up. So remember the mushrooms we pulled out? We also pulled them out with the garden eggs. So I'm gonna remove the garden eggs. We usually eat this separate from the achu, isn't that right, Mom? Yes. So you okay. put it like from the side from the plate. Yes. The of the plate. So this is gonna be a little delicacy. Yep. Um, so now we have our palm oil, as you can see here. Uh, my mother told me not to use measuring spoons. So this one cup will be sufficient multiple times. Isn't that right? Yes, ma'am. All right. So I'm going to open it like so. I'm going to pour it in, if you can see that coming out. And I'm going to put this in a separate pot. Oh that was two cups of yes, palm oil. Palm oil. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. This is going to be hot. Yeah. Am I going to take a cover and cover it or no? No. Cool. All right, so what are we doing next? So what would one now is just for this palm oil to be a little bit. You see, when you put it, you see how thick. So you want it to be a little bit lighter. Never stir palm, palm oil, oil in the fire. If you leave with one takeaway, it's never stir palm oil on the fire. Let's give this like two more minutes. Okay. And with this here, you, you see how red it is? Mm -hmm. Pretty soon it's going to be yellow. Oh. We're going to use part of this. Let me slow this down a little bit. We're going to use um, the, the palm nut oil mm -hmm. and our gravy that we have here. So as from before, we have the blender here still with the ingredients from before, a little residue, but that is fine. We're gonna keep that in there. The next thing we're gonna do is take some maggi, which has been already peeled. You can do two. All right, we're getting a uh, <laughs> froggy in here. We got two. We're also going to take one of these, put it in the blender. And what we also did, um, we're gonna add some more of this chili because we want some more of that flavor in there. And we love spice. And we food. love spicy food. And guess what? Colors have spice. So you want it to That's taste like green. Yeah. Perfect. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is take some of the broth from the um, mushroom sauce. Now you want to put your achu ingredient. You want right. to put like two spoons. So next, as mentioned before, we're going to take two, maybe two tablespoons of this achu spices. Need to put the palm oil oh. into that blend now. All right, so we're gonna pour out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more, and that should be about half. Yes. Putting half in here. Now you start with slow, reduce it. You want to okay. start slow. All right. And you want to add some more um, oil. Another half. Gently lift up this cover. Ooh. Look at that. So the next step, um, as you know, before we have our mushroom pot and then we also have our meat pot, what I'm gonna do is manually select some to go in here, not all of it though. 
the reason why we're covering the meat and putting it to the side is because guess what? Now we can use this for other meals and other dishes. Yes. Okay? You're right. It's called working smart and not hard. Hard. So next we're going to take what we blended mm -hmm. and we're just gonna delicately, ugh, this is gonna be beautiful. Um, in terms of Maggi, you want to use the beef Maggi, not the shrimp one or the crevet, as the French said. So to buy the right type of palm oil, you want to buy the one from Cameroon. No shade, no tea, no shade. So it either needs to say KUB or, what's it mom, CDC? Oh, CDC palm, palm oil. Oh, CDC. No affiliation to CDC. the CDC. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. So the reason why I want to make sure it's the right type of palm oil, if y'all have the issues I have, when I open it, it smells disgusting. And the whole entire home smells disgusting. Um, but this one, when I open it, it smelled like nothing. Um, it's so, organic. Because it's organic. Nothing is mixed. And nothing is mixed in it. So this, <laughs> this here, this here is the cocoa yams that is cooked and it's still hot. So we are going to peel this, put it here. But right now we don't have the machine that blends it real fast. So we're peeling it. We got this, this machine long time ago in a, in a flea market in Detroit. I've got this almost 20 years. I think people used it for tomatoes or something else, but hey, African woman, I found a way. See? See? So we had two types of um, cocoa yams. We have what we call macabo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, I hated when somebody said, you're going to eat Macabo. So, I don't know why I didn't like the name Macabo. Help me lose my COVID-19 pounds. Okay, people. Get the corners here. That's why you want to do this while it's hot because if it gets cold, it's gonna be a little bit stiff and harder. you how to build the achu the real way or my way so you want to bring it in some like so it's almost like a science project experiment you want to make sure the bottom is secured so it doesn't escape too soon I'm going to puncture a hole in the middle in and I'm going to spin then I'm going to Spread it out a little bit more and just go in a circle like so, like that. Shout out to Tabitha. Yo, Tabitha, this is vegan. Well, not the sauce. <laughs> you know, the funniest thing is a story I was planning to tell you guys. Um, long time ago in Cameroon, when they're cooking a chew, they didn't have the blender to blend all the mixture like we did. 
So what they were doing, they just get the palm oil and the liquid and just be mixing it from one bowl to another. watching please do not forget to subscribe like comment and let us know where we can get the machine that is going to be easier for us to make the food for next time when we're making a gym again thanks for watching um, every family has a story welcome to ours mm. 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 Mm.